Well, hot diggity dog guys, how's everybody doing? Today is a bit of a different video. I figured I'd bring you guys along with this, even though this ain't usually our camping thing. But it is kind of like a um, survival preparedness type of thing. We have this space here. It's, it's also where the sump pump is. But I'm not utilizing the space very well. And this is where we're going to come hunker down in like uh, severe weather, like tornadoes and such, here in the Midwest. Um, I don't know. We're going to wing it. I kind of want to um, make this a nice little cozy spot. I'll show you around here in a second. It's nothing too crazy. Um, but I want to see if we can make this a little bit more cozy if we do have to hunker down in here. And uh, just see what happens. You never know until you go. So we'll just dive into it and see what we can come up with. And your guys' tips and tricks uh, in the comment section would be greatly appreciated what you have and what you would do um, we don't have multiple land or millions of dollars to build a big old freaking nuclear bunker out back so I guess we'll just have to perish like the rest of them in a little hole like this but <laughs> I don't know we'll see what happens but I'll show you guys this dusty little crusty spot and uh, we'll see what we can make it happen alright we're all locked in Nothing too crazy. That's just some goofy framing. We ain't even got it finished or anything in there. The door's goofy. I save everything from job sites. So this door is from an old job. It doesn't even have the frame. I just do two by fours. And, but it is a solid door. So that's a plus. Like I said in here, this is where the drain tile system is and where the water shutoff is to the house. So if we lose power, my concern as the sump's not working, we don't have a backup generator or anything crazy like that. So, I don't know, maybe water would fill up in there. But I do want to do like a little platform. So like we'll have a little bench up and over this. And maybe it can fold out into like a bed. I mean it's long enough to lay down and sleep in here. If we absolutely had to. And my thought, because this goes to right outside just through the block. Um, and it's not filled in um, in the center so <clears throat> you always want to have an escape route two ways out well we got the door for one and if the house were to collapse and fall and lock onto this door my thought would be <clears throat> I will beat the crap out of that up here and I will give it my all I'll tell you what I'm trying to get out um, that's what I would do I would try to beat the crap on those two blocks uh, to fight my way out if we had to. But anyway, let's dive into this. We're going to build some crap and uh, just try to utilize this space a little more. Just have a good time, hang out, and you know it's something different, but you never know. You got to be prepared. Don't be scared. Be prepared. All right, so we're going to go about 51. Like I was saying, there's going to be like a a bench right here so we can be able to plop a squat and hunker down or something that's the game plan Let's go about yay high what do you think yep yeah shelves yeah. sound like a plan yeah two we can have one little one right here one little one one big one right here and one little one right there you think so does it make sense does it make sense <laughs> sure little big Little. That's how, that's how we're going to make them. Is that what you want to do? Yeah. Alright, you're the boss. Alright. Now like I said, this is all just salvage lumber. So we're not getting too crazy. Now I want to be able to take this off and uh, shut the water off if need be. And I don't want to mount anything besides what I already have mounted here. This is my north wall. So we're going to keep it short and sweet and nothing too crazy. Because, I mean, if the house blows over, we ain't going to be living in this little spot anyway. You know, but we just want a nice, comfortable spot to hunker down if need be. We ain't going to bring it. Fit first try? Oh, no. Got to do it again, then. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. 
Ja. This is a warped piece of wood. Some of this was outside and did get a little bit of rain. But that's all right. That should be fine right there. Dog. It's not too shabby at all right there. Now I'm wondering if I can put some hinges on here somehow. Do like a double piece. If that'll uh, make a little bad. Even though we did have to cut it down to four feet. We could do a, a little extension or something. I don't know. It's a learning curve. You never know. We're I mean, trying to utilize the space so to be able to even put some more little shelves and stuff under here. So, I'll give it a try. How uh, diggity dog? Crushed out today. <laughs> yeah. Boy. And we gotta get some shelves that would be above our head. I uh, didn't even think of that either. If we put shelves here. That might be a good idea. Might be a good idea? Yeah. Well, this whole bed situation, I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do with that yet. So, we are gonna move along and get some freaking shelving going down yonder. Something of the sort, and then we'll just shelve it out. Makes sense? Okay. A wee bit snug, isn't she? It'll be okay, boys. Stop digging down. <laughs> Hitting caresses. Well, I know I said I didn't want to drill anything into the freaking walls, but this is just above uh, the ground, or the, yeah, above the ground line, so we should be all right. I'm going to put uh, a piece of metal on each side and then a piece of plywood on top of that. Then we'll have another shelf that's kind of above my head so I don't have to bonk on it. We don't have a lot of space here. I mean, this is probably maybe 40 inches by 72. We're trying to make the best of it here, um, but I think it'll be all right to tap in over here. I know I said I didn't want to, but yep, that's the right side. Center. Throw this bad boy up there. Uh, is it gonna fit first try? Oh boy! We've did it now, boys. We get caught on the corner. Oh, oh! I just gotta tap that corner a little bit. Give her tap a rooney. Diggity dog. I got it there. Cool beans. Looks awesome. Cool. That'll do, that'll do. Ain't nothing too crazy. And it is 40 inches by 72. And I was thinking about the bed. It would probably be a bad idea because I wouldn't give the dog much room in here. Um, if it was me, the kids, the dog, um, kind of hunkered down in here. So, we will put blankets and stuff in here. Well, what do you think? Good. Good. Cool beans. Better than it was? Yeah. Well, welcome to MTV Cribs. It's nothing too crazy. We don't have a big old power supply anymore. We just got this little guy. Little pots and pans. Some mashed potatoes, powdered milk, some rice, emergency bar, some candles. 
little airman survival kit a bunch of canned goods some beans emergency blankets we got up here um nuclear like mask uh dealies um we got a 72 hour survival kit uh we got on sale at freaking walmart those are usually like 60 to 100 bucks we got it for five so we know we had to do that and we got some more um like medical supplies and just random pieces of gear in this bag our emergency weather radio this thing is going crazy let's shut that off we got a bunch of mres our water and we can't forget the good old sign from our uncle fred there's a little candle for the dealies but yeah turned nothing into something yeehaw well what do you think we did good yeah all right oh well, just like that something turned nothing into something it's not too bad it didn't take too much time a bunch of leftover easy uh pieces of wood and things like that so yeah leave your thoughts in the comments what you guys have in your little shelters i know this ain't our average video but hey something's better than nothing if you get caught in that situation well, leave your thoughts in the comments what you guys do in yours and uh make every day great explore on earth and, and what the heck was i going to say and don't be scared be prepared